you said that you don't necessarily work, you don't do this all the time. You don't actually want to be working remotely all the time. So right. yeah, so what is, what is that about? I think I like to kind of have more of a home base, I think. So I really enjoy being able to do this for like maybe a month at a time or something like that. And you meet a lot of cool people and it's like very active. So I think that's awesome. But I also like being able to be a little bit more settled, like have a bit of a balance with it. That's cool. I like, I like sharing that with everyone because I think that so many people think, oh, there's, you know, the, the really extreme version of you work remotely all the time, you live out of your suitcase, and you're a perfect example of you can do whatever you want. Right? You can, yeah. You can do a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to share with you this quick interview that we had with Mandy, our friend from Brooklyn, New York. Mandy's doing so many cool things and she really shows how remote working can come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Let's see how she's setting up her life so that she can work remotely in the south of Spain at a co-living space called Sun & Co. Let's dive right in. Before we get started, we just want to give a shout out to Office R&D, who is our sponsor on today's episode. They are a co-working management software company that helps workspaces around the world deliver better experiences to their customers. They share our values of promoting and championing remote work, and they've been our biggest supporters since day one. Okay, so let's continue. So I'm excited to sit down and have a conversation with you. and. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Okay, so my name is Mandy and I'm from New York. I am an ecologist and a professor part-time um, and also a coffee research scientist. Just to throw that in there. <laughs> I know, I'm very random. <laughs> I love it. So you're a coffee research scientist, yeah. a professor, yeah. everything. Yeah, do it all. That's so cool. So, um, what brings you into this co-living space in Spain, if you're from Brooklyn? Um, so I did a co-working thing in Bali in November, and I really liked it. So when I was still there, actually, I booked my, my ticket here. And I don't know if I wouldn't have done that. I, I don't know if I would have come immediately, but yeah, I had like three months back in Brooklyn and then just came here for more co-working, co-living. That's so cool. So tell us uh, more about, I guess, how you got started on this, like working remotely lifestyle. Okay. Cause I know we were saying before, we had just had a little conversation and you were like, I don't actually do this all the time. I so, don't do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, so tell me more about that. So I teach in the summers, so that's location bound. And then I do consulting work um, the other times in the year. And I was just kind of sitting in my apartment in Brooklyn, like on my computer. It's like, I could be anywhere right now. Like I don't have to be sitting right here in this corner or like going to the different coffee shops. So that's kind of what propelled me to go and like look for like co-working, co-living spaces. That's so yeah. cool. So tell me more about like, you said that you don't necessarily work, you don't do this all the time. You don't actually want to be working remotely all the time. So right. yeah, so what is, what is that about? I think I like to kind of have more of a home base, I think. So I really enjoy being able to do this for like maybe a month at a time or something like that. And you meet a lot of cool people and it's like very active. So I think that's awesome. But I also like being able to be a little bit more settled, like have a bit of a balance with it. That's cool. I like, I like sharing that with everyone because I think that so many people think, oh, there's, you know, the, the really extreme version of you work remotely all the time, yeah. you live out of your suitcase, and you're a perfect example of you can do whatever you want, right? You can, yeah. You can do a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I enjoy that. So have you found any, I guess, what is your favorite thing about working and working remotely and doing this lifestyle? I think one thing is that I've, I've traveled a decent amount, and then when you're when you're working and nobody else is working, it's kind of annoying. Like you're like sitting in your Airbnb by yourself. You're like I'm supposed to be on vacation. I'm in like this beautiful place, but I'm actually not on vacation. So it's nice to be able to be with people who are also working but want to travel around and enjoy other things. For sure. So that actually helps you to stay motivated, and you can feel like you're not crazy because you're not the only one. <laughs> right. Sitting there working all the time. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I mean, that totally happened to me. When I first started working remotely, I was working in 
Costa Rica in a small surf town and I was the only one like working on my laptop. This is back mm. in like 2014 and everyone just thought I was crazy. <laughs> and I also started to think I was a little bit crazy because I'm like, why am I here? And I'm inside more than I'm outside. And But I think that there's, there is a balance there. You are able to figure out and meet other people. So yeah. I think that's really cool. Have you found any obstacles in your working remotely? Is there anything that is harder for you on the road than it is back home? Um, I guess there's, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of things. Like, um, you're on a different time zone. So sometimes, like, I was in Bali, which is 11 to 12 hours difference. Mm -hmm. So having conference calls at, like, 10, 11 at night, it was kind of a pain. Yeah. Spain's not as bad because it's only five or six hours. So that hasn't been too challenging. Um, everywhere that you, you're generally doing co-working has good Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So you're able to keep in touch with family and stuff like that, which is nice. That's cool. um, but yeah, I definitely miss my miss my family on the road, but I'll see them soon. Yeah. So, is your family located back in New York? Mm -hmm. In New Jersey. Cool. Okay. Cool. So you you see them a lot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because for me, like even when I'm not traveling, my family and I also only see each other maybe once a year. Oh, okay. So I think that also depends, like if you if you are close to your family versus you're not. Right. Yeah. But I think that it's I think that you're just a perfect example of the fact that you can have both of it. You mm -hmm. can. You can be at home with your family and have like a really um, settled and like comforting lifestyle. And you also can go out on adventures and do everything. So. Yeah. So what would you say to people who are thinking of working remotely or living in a co-living space or anything like that? I think it's great. I think it's a great experience. It's nice to be able to kind of take off and go wherever you want to go and know that there'll be other people there to do things with. So you can, it's kind of like a good combination of like solo travel, but also like meet people and you know do activities and stuff. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. <laughs> Is there anything else? I mean, I guess how did you like staying here at Sun and Co? I'm just curious. It's been great. Yeah, I really liked. It. I really like the town of Happy as well. It's really sweet with all the little like shops and the cafes and then the Mediterranean. It's not so bad either. Yeah. Being by the sea is so nice. Awesome. Yeah. We keep running into each other in the mornings like, oh, you went for a run? I'm going for a run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you run all the way down to the sea and go around? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. Well, thank you so much, Mandy. Yeah, and thank you. Is there anything else that you would want to tell anyone who's thinking of doing this? Or I think there's a ton of options. Like, There's a lot of different places that you can go. You just have to kind of do a little research, and it's pretty easy to sign up, but it's worth it. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much, Mandy. Yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, I think I'm just excited that I met her. Also, <laughs> when you when you uh, said you're like when you spoke, I was like yes because I it reminded me of all my friends back in New York, <laughs> and I was like it's just nice to find that like when you're in Spain or just in a foreign country, yeah, you know, just like a little bit of homecoming. Do I have a New York accent? Totally. No. Really? Yes. In a good way. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Not like the ones that are on the movies, like yeah. the actual New York accent. Yeah. <clears throat> Funny. Sure. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. I loved speaking to Mandy because I think this shows the future of remote working. I don't think it's going to be people 100% remote all the time. So many of us have families and responsibilities back home, and maybe we just like living in the city that we're from. There's nothing wrong with that. There's also an option to work where we want to, when we want to. And I really think this is gonna be the future, where people take a week off here and there to work remotely in a different country or a different city, or even from home. So it shows that there's so many possibilities and we can't wait to share more of those with you in the upcoming episodes. So if you liked the episode, hit like at the bottom of the screen, subscribe to our channel, and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.